Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Sanders back with another video. I am tired as a son of a gun, but I'm gonna do this. I don't remember the last time I did a TV show thoughts, but yeah, this is my thoughts on the Netflix TV show Dharma. Uh, or Monster, Ryan Murphy's Monster, the, the Jeffrey Dumpster, whatever it's called exactly. It's a long ass title, and I'll probably just say Dharma 2022 TV show thoughts. Anyway, I watched the first episode sometime last month, I think. No, I didn't get to watching the rest of the episodes till like, these past couple days, actually. It's today, November 19th, 2022. I finally watched uh, the rest of the show. I finished the show just now. And, um, far up. I was so captivated, like, in the show from, like, beginning to end, practically. I mean... Obviously, I knew the name Jeffrey Dahmer. I knew he was, like, a serial killer and all that. But I didn't, like, know his whole story and all that. Um, and, you know, being, a, being like, one of the true story movies, you know it's never going to be exactly 100% um, truthful. You know, they, they do, like, write these things to be more, like, movie-like and all that. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. Probably for the best, honestly. But, um, honestly, I, I really just love this show. Um, I don't think it's quite perfect. I will say, though, I had an absolute blast watching it, which is, I know that might sound weird to say, but it was so fascinating. And, and uh, Jeffrey Dahmer himself played just to perfection, like, to perfection and beyond by Evan Peters, man. Holy crap, what an amazing performance. Um, I won't lie, you know, I'm, not, I'm not like a, on, on like the, oh my gosh, Evan Peters, you know, thing or anything like that. But for real, to give credit with credits to his performance was absolutely off the charts. Perfect, amazing. And it's crazy, I first saw Evan Peters in the, uh, the Kick-Ass movie, 2010. And, um... Yeah, not really, I probably would have thought of him as just some, like, just that guy that played Kick-Ass's mate in that movie, but, wow, today he really is a prolific actor, I guess, if I'm using the words correctly. Once again, I'm extremely tired, I'll try and get this review all good. Um, um... I won't lie, when the, when I watched, the, I can't promise that I won't spoil anything, by the way, I mean, can you say spoilers for, like, real life stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but, um, like, um, when the first episode happened, and it was, like, um, and, and we see, like, the moment he gets arrested, that's basically what the first episode is. And then when that happened, I was like, oh my gosh, are we going to spend the whole series in prison? Apparently, we do not, okay? We we spend, like, the most of the rest of the series through flashbacks as to, you know, his first victims. Moments from his childhood, of course, that possibly led him to where he ended up leading up to. And, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, um very captivating stuff uh also richard jenkins i believe that's his name i know him from Step Brothers. he plays lionel um who was uh jeffrey Dahmer's father another excellent performance um what's her name uh molly ringwald is in this as uh as um jeffrey Dahmer's stepmother she was great it's nice seeing her in something again you know legend and all that and um you, and you see like maybe not every single victim you don't get like the story of every single victim but a good a good chunk of his victims you do get the story of or well, not not the whole story for the most part but like how they met jeffrey dahmer and you know um and honestly um far out Never gonna justify what a what Jeffrey Dahmer did, of course, never. But I won't lie, 
man, people were real assholes to him. So many people were such assholes to him. People at school, even Steven, the first guy he killed, um, well, he said some stuff. Like, I know Jeffrey, like, kissed him and all that, but what, what he said to him afterwards, what, what Steven said to him right after that, you know, um, and, um, it's just people are so nasty to him. Kind of reminds me of Halloween 2077, not 2077, I'm thinking of Cyberpunk, not Halloween. It reminded me of Halloween, like, 2007, you know, how, like, the first, like, 40 minutes or so of that movie, we see Michael Myers' childhood, and, you know, we see, like, just him being picked on, raised in a hellhole and all that, and, um... You know, this is kind of reminded me of that when we saw, like, these flashbacks of, for Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, like, um, um, he got kicked out of college, kicked out of the military, uh, starting crap when he stayed with his grandmother, you know, stuff like that, and, um, you know, yeah, I felt bad for him, I did, uh, I honestly, obviously, besides the straight up murdering stuff and luring victims and all that. You know, I saw, you know, a lot of myself in him, you know. He seems very introverted, which I consider myself to be, honestly. Um, and, um, do we even get episodes where, like, uh, especially, like, later in the season, uh, like, we do get a couple episodes where, like, Dharma isn't the main character of these particular episodes, like episode six, when we focus on Tony, um, that guy, that man was the purest of good heart, man, and, like, he was deaf, but he didn't let that stop him, he was deaf and gay, you know, but he didn't let that stop him from, you know, trying to set out to do what he wants to do, he wanted to be a model, he, he went out and he encountered Jeffrey Dahmer, and you know the rest, and, um, and, uh, yeah, um, some parts I didn't really agree with, not with, like, the show itself, but, like, honestly, like, should I say this? I, I hate entitlement, honestly, and I, I did feel entitlement from, like, which would, which would be a real life thing and not like part of the show I know, but like from like from like um just the way some of the people affected by what Jeffrey Dahmer did and all that were like and all that like you know not that I wouldn't be upset or I don't know if I would do the same if I was in their position God forbid you know what I mean but. Still, and, um, funny thing, um, you might, you might really consider this spoilery, I guess, so just a fair warning, um, we do get cameos from, uh, not the real, actual people, because, of course, these are actors playing them, but, Ed Gain and, uh, John Wayne Gacy, and that felt like a whole cinematic universe type thing. A serial killer cinematic universe. You know, nothing's impossible at this point. You know what I mean? Um, and, um, so yeah, and being that, you know, they announced, uh, I don't know if they actually officially announced it or if this is just rumored or anything, but, um, um, sorry, uh, maybe they, they wanted to do like more monster netflix series because this this is called like monster the jeffrey Dahmer story or something like that and um would it be ed gain and john wayne gacy's time in those other monster seasons with the same actors maybe you know uh, i think at least the john wayne gacy actor because i recognize that guy from ma he played that guy at the casino yeah but uh um yeah fantastic performances Especially from Evan Peters, though. Chef's Kiss. That performance, man. Oh, my goodness. And, um... Uh, Glenda Cleveland. Um... 
seriously just a, a good woman. You know, I'll say that just a good woman, uh, especially with that fourteen-year-old kid. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I won't lie. I I did imagine in my head this review turning up better. And but at the same time, I felt like it wasn't gonna turn out as good as I imagined. So maybe it actually turned out better, teeny bit better than I expected. But yeah, Dharma, the Jeffrey Dharma story monster, whatever it's called. Uh, I I'll probably give it a nine, maybe eight point five if I did decimals. But I don't really do decimals, you know, because IMDb doesn't have decimal ratings, which honestly gives gave me mass massive OCD. Um, so I guess I'll give it a 9. Uh, excellent stuff though. Excellent production. Excellent storytelling. Even though it's real life storytelling, you, you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah. That was my thoughts on Dharma. Uh, excellent show. Uh, excellent season of Netflix. You, you can watch it on, uh, you can watch it on Netflix, of course. Or you could torrent it. I don't have control over that, but, uh, yeah. I, I did feel for Dharma quite a bit, though. Um, never, ever condoning what he did. Never get me wrong, like, um, yeah. By the way, this is actually the first, uh, review I'm recording on my new phone. Yeah, I got an iPhone 8 now. I'm still gonna keep my iPhone 6. But, yeah, recording this on my new iPhone 8. I don't know if it will sound better or anything, but yeah. Anyway, I'm your boy, Mark Sanders. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Have a good day, y'all.